Hi, it's going to be important to take a representative sample of your hay bales in order to determine the nutritional value of your hay and also determine whether or not there are any toxins in your hay. There's some critical steps that you'll need to know in order to take a representative sample of your hay bales. Let's go ahead and look at those. So it's important to find a unique lot of hay. So this is a uniform group of bales under the same irrigation, under the same seeding and fertilizing. The best time to sample your hay is as close to feeding as possible or just before you sell your hay. In order to do this right, you're gonna to have to have the right tools. What you're gonna need is a hay probe. And what that is, is gonna be at least 12 inch probe that can go into your hay bale. At one end, it's gonna have some sharp teeth that are gonna to need to remain sharp because that's gonna penetrate the bale and really produce the representative sample. The ideal length is anywhere between 12 inches and 18 inches. We have a probe here that's gonna be able to do that. The diameter of the probe needs to be at least three quarters of an inch wide. And that's gonna ensure that we're gonna get enough of the hay sample to submit to the laboratory. Now, it's gonna be important to take a representative sample of the lot of hay. So how do you take a representative sample of your hay stack? What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the flat side of the hay bale and you're gonna go down about half an inch and place your hay probe in that middle of that flat side. And you're gonna go in about 12 to 18 inches. And you have your core sample. You're gonna go ahead and walk around that haystack randomly and take additional samples. Once you take the hay probe out of the hay bale, not only is it sharp, but after you've sampled your hay, it's gonna be hot, so don't touch that. Now that you have your hay sample, go ahead and, and take that hay and put it into a bag that you've identified specifically with a lot, your name, and also the date. Walk around your hay bales and continue to take core samples of your bales. You're gonna go ahead and composite all those samples into your bag until you have about half a pound. So now that you have your forage sample, it's gonna be important to get it to a laboratory as soon as possible. At the end of the day, it's going to be important to the economic viability of your beef cattle operation. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to visit an extension office and visit with your field faculty member. Until next time on Oregon's Outback.